Hello YouTube, Mr. Beam is here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how we can create a 2D detail family. Um, so as you can see, this is a, a 2D detail and we have a text here that says that new P1000 unit strut continues. But whenever we check in the detail, um, this is just a square. Um, probably is maybe is an indicative. But anyway, if you want to um, create a 2D detail item uh, for this section of this um, P1000 units rod, uh, we can create it in a 2D uh, family. So first of all, uh, what is the P1000? So if you go to the Google and search for P1000, P1000 Strat, so you can find it from the first link, which is unistrat.com.au, and because I'm uh, located in Australia. So um, these are the details we want. Uh, we know that the material thickness is 2.5 millimeter, and we have to actually create a section with these details so I'm going back to the Revit um, we are going to the file clicking on new family we need to go to the family templates on English folder and looking for um, a metric detail item I'm going to click on open so we have two reference planes and both of them are center lines so we uh, the intersection of these two center lines actually is the insertion point and we want to have the insertion point as there so so you can take a step from here, I'm going just to send this um, Google Chrome to my the other display, and I'm just going to sketch it. So, so I'm going under Create, click on Line. For now, the line is Detail Item. So by clicking here and entering the equal on your keyboard, so this one is 41. 0.3 divided by 2 and then we have 23.6 and then we have something there so I have to actually calculate and that amount is 9.55 9.55 and I'm going just to click on the thin lines so I can see what, what I'm doing. This one is 7 point. This one is 7.1. Cool. And we also have a line here. 17.7 .7, and it's connected to this line I can delete actually this one so I'm going to use the offsets and because we know that uh, the material thin is 2.5 millimeter I'm going to use that 2.5 so you have a line here clicking here clicking here clicking here and clicking here I'm going to use the, the trim TR to trim these corners, this and this, and this and this. So I'm going just to connect also these two. So I don't have any information about the radius, but let's um, use this fillet arc using the radius of half a 2.5 and clicking on these two lines and clicking these two lines 
holes for these two and these two. Let's go with this. For this one, I'm going to use actually. So the radius is actually 1.25 plus 2.5, which which is the thickness of this material. So it would be 1.25, 2.5, So I will change this one to 3.75. I'm going to click on these two, these two lines, and these two lines. And also I have to delete these excess lines. So now I'm going just to click select all of them and typing mm for mirroring i'm going just to mirror simple as that so our unistrat section is completed i'm just going to save it i'm going just to save it as p thousand for backup numbers I'm going just to use one clicking on save it's safe let's load it on the project it's back to the sheet and this is the actual size of the the p thousands so by hitting the space we can just change its orientation just one thing I want to do if I type a l for a line and if I want to align it the back of, of the back of uh, uh, this unistra to that line, I can do it like that. But what I want, I want to have also two other reference lines here and at these uh, edge lines. So I'm going to type RP for reference line. I'm going just to pick the lines, this one, this one, this one, and that one. So I can also just uh, make them a little bit tidy. So we have a reference line here, one here, and one here. I'm going to select all of them by holding the control key while I'm just selecting them. For now, let's fix also this one. Again, I'm holding the shift, oh, sorry, holding the control, it will show a plus, and then selecting all of them. So we have four items here, and I'm going just to check the reference, each weak reference, which is okay, this is what I need. So I'm going to load it into the project. Uh, yes, we need the, the changes. Again, yes. And I'm going to override the existing version. So now, so we have the, the main two center lines and also um, very easy to just use the um, the other four corners so let's also check the thin lines again so there is a problem um, these lines are just too thick and this line is thicker than that one so the thing is in this project whenever we want to sketch steel section we have to use steel section, steel work, outline thin. So I have to check that the weight of this line then applying to that one, to, to the family. So I'm going to the manage tab. I'm going to additional setting. I'm going to line styles. I'm expanding this category and I'm going to at the end of the category. You can see there's still section is still still work thin line has a line projection weight with two so let's click on the family and edit the family 
and let's go to the manage object styles and as you can see here the project the projection line is two so that means we actually use the correct size of the, the line so there is no issue we can just keep it so I'm just going back to the project the reason is just showing too thick is because of the, the scale so if we are using for example smaller scale like 1 to 10 so it will show it with the more details So, and now this is, this is our family we want, which is a, a section of the P1000. If I change the, the scale to 1 to 20, which is usually can be used uh, for the details, you can see that this is our detail. For having P1001, which is this text, if we just check on the internet P1001 so the detail is exactly the same it's just uh, two uh, unit struts stacking top of each other back to back so it's like uh, I'm selecting on our family if I want to create another similar I will type CS and it will create a similar and I can just attach it there. I can type AL for align. I can align this line with that line. And then I have two, I have two um, units or P1000 back to back, which I, I can call it um, P1001. So I can actually edit it. And I can sketch the line like this one to have the other profile so I'm going to click one of them going to edit it We're clicking on the TL so this time we don't need these lines for now here and I'm just going to mirror it by typing MM I'm just going to move it with typing MV to the center line and this one is P1001 so I'm going to save it as P1001 and one backup is enough saving and uploading to the project so so now I have a P1000 p1001 as a detail item but these two are actually just a section um, we can also create another family um, line based to sketch them in uh, their elevation with more details because we actually have to have two dash lines here to represent these edges at the moment it seems that this detail is just uh, indicative this is the end of this video thank you so much for watching